So we are not going to talk about the theoretical aspect of platelet production function, etc. What I'm going to do is to present four to five cases. And in those cases, uh, I will uh, give you various scenarios in which one encounters thrombocytopenia. I will approach the diagnosis of the cause of the thrombocytopenia in a very practical and simple manner and also suggest what should be the right treatment. So we'll move on to case one. A case one is a 28 year old athlete in absolute robust health. He presents with a few blood spots in both his legs that he noticed while washing himself a couple of days ago. He thought it will go away, but it didn't. So he presents to us in the emergency. His CBC shows a hemoglobin of 14.5, total count of 8.2 and a platelet count of 8 or 8,000. He is otherwise well, there is no fever, weight loss, he has been in absolute good health playing, you know, whatever sport he has been playing for a long time with no issues at all. He has got normal renal and liver function tests and you do a coagulation profile such as PT, APTT and fibrinogen which is normal. You examine him, there are few petechia in his legs but otherwise the examination is unremarkable with no lymphadenopathy or hepatosplenomegaly. So this is a commonly encountered scenario. So when such a patient comes, there are a few important questions that you have to ask yourself as a clinician. Is there a bleed? What is the nature of the bleed if present? Is it from the mucosa or is it soft tissue bleed? Is the patient well or is he unwell? Is the patient on any medication at all? What are his personal habits? So if we have to answer these questions in this particular patient, the first question we'll answer is if the patient is well or unwell. This patient is very well. Is the patient on any medication? No, he doesn't have any previous comorbidities to have any medications. Personal habits, healthy, not doesn't consume alcohol or smoke. So what's the nature of the bleed? It's just skin, mucosal or skin bleed, but there is no deep tissue bleed. If you had a deep tissue bleed, he would have presented with a swelling uh, of a thigh muscle or a calf muscle. He might have uh, presented to us with a joint bleed. Is there a bleed? There is no bleed except for minor petit case. So there is a patient with isolated severe low platelets with just a bit of skin bleed with no tissue bleed, a well patient with no comorbidities, not on any medications in absolutely good health. So this is what is our first patient. So now there are certain laboratory questions also it has to be answered. First thing is we need to determine if the thrombocytopenia is real or spurious. Is this thrombocytopenia or low platelets an isolated abnormality? In the sense, is it just the low platelets or is there accompanying anemia? Is there accompanying abnormality of the white cell count? Does he have abnormality of kidney function? Does he have abnormality of the liver function? These are things that we have to, one has to ask oneself. Is this coagulation parameter normal? Like if he has a normal prothrombin time APTT or is it abnormal? any abnormal biochemistry. So these are the questions that we have to answer. So if we go back to our first patient, does he have abnormal biochemistry? No. Coagulation parameters are normal. Is it an isolated abnormality? Yes. So what is this thrombocytopenia being real or unreal? So it's very important always to look at a peripheral smear when somebody presents to you for the first time with severe low platelets. <laughs> 